Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rosano, and this is another <coughs> episode of the world famous The University Love, the best podcast, ladies and gents, and one, two, three galaxies. For you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves. We are coming to you live today. Today is Monday, March the uh, 18th, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, how was your St. Patty's Day? Okay. Now, Today we are going to talk about something very important. I was flipping through the, I was flipping through my TV yesterday, and I saw that the NCAA tournament was going to get started. For those of you who don't know, we uh, we call it March Madness around these here parts. And uh, March Madness is something that's basketball, college tournament. It's a big college tournament. Most people they enjoy it. Um, <laughs> I read this once. I don't know if this is still true. But a lot of guys get like vasectomies around March Madness time so they can have a couple of days off and watch a bunch of college basketball games. All right. All right. Very, very weird thing to do. But, hey, you know, whatever gets whatever gets you a day off, get you a day off. But I want to talk about something that uh, what a lot of people do when it comes to college basketball, what more and more people are doing, and, and it's, it's sports gambling. And I... And I, for once, am here to tell you, sports gambling, I would not do it. I would uh, I would not put my, you know, you see you see every now and then you see a story. And they, and, and they, they put them out there, of course. And they're like, this guy got a, this guy spent five bucks on a parlay, ten bucks on a parlay. And he turned it into a hundred thousand dollars. Listen. A lot of people, I used to see a lot of people, they like, don't do the lottery. Don't do the lottery. Uh, what do you think sports gambling is? It's the lottery, okay? All of this stuff is basically the lottery, okay? You you put five bucks in. Oh, if I put five bucks in, and if 20 things happens in these sports sport events, I'm going to get $200,000. Listen, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen for you, okay? Let me, give you, let me go ahead and break something down for you. Sports, now more than ever, seem very, and I'm not even, I don't watch a lot of sports anymore. But sports now, it seems more TV show than it does on the up and up. So if I was you, and I know you want to pay off your house and you want you want to pay off your car, and a lot of people don't want to work that hard and they and they want to skate by and make some money the easy way, I would not put my money, sink my money into the sports gamble. You know, um, you know. There's nothing wrong with the five buck, with the five dollar bet here and a five dollar bet there. But for, but for some of you, I and you know how and you know how it works, okay? Oh, you 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 have your first big hit, okay? And it's 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 the adrenaline. Woo! You feel the rush. Whoosh! <laughs> you like? Hey, I did it once. I can do it twice. You ain't it ain't gonna happen, okay? There's a reason why that casinos are built in Las Vegas. They're bigger, they're bigger, and they're bigger. I know all of you guys are experts when it comes to gambling, when it comes to this, that, and the other. But the, it's amazing how you will gamble on sports. You will gamble on the lottery, but you won't gamble on yourself, okay? Get it together. Leave that stuff alone. Listen. The safest bet you can make is when, is when you bet on yourself, okay? And the reason why you should bet on yourself is because you can control what you can do. If you if you wake up if you wake up an hour early, you wake up a couple of hours early a day, you start doing you start doing things that are necessary for you to really create some growth, create some movement, you can do it. You can't tell LeBron James uh, li listen, LBJ, can you make these three free throws tonight? I got this parlay I'm trying to hit on. I'm trying to win fifty thousand. LeBron, could you uh, look out for me? You can't co you can't control LeBron James. You can't control Danny Hurley and the you in the in the Connecticut Huskies. You can't control Don Staley. What they're gonna do in the women in the women's game? Okay, all you can control is yourself. And the more you think about that, the more and the more you actually put place a bets on you. Instead of placing bets on teams, sports, individuals, uh, you know, tennis and all this type of nonsense, the better off you will be. 
Now, listen, now this is your job. If you're getting paid, if you're one of these people who do a podcast and they're like, hey, do prize picks, blah, 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 blah. And listen, I would promote it too, you know what I'm saying? But if you are if you are not getting paid from all these fan duels and all these type of things, I would highly, highly recommend that you that you bet on yourself before you start placing bets on stupid sports games that are going to lead you down to a path of nowhere, okay? This is why people always say they love to scream how they don't have any money. They're not, they're not making enough money. What do you do with the money that you make? You piss it away, okay? You don't, you don't need to spend a bunch of money, spend a that, spend, you know, you see these people, and there and there are people younger and younger growing broker and broker, fooling around with these with these gambling sites. You know, it's so easy now. Um, I saw during the um the NBA All Star game. They was like, you know, bet, you know, fan duel or prize picks or whoever, you know. They're like, hey, bet them up. You know, hit them up. You can just get on your phone and you can. And before you know it, you're spinning, you're spinning, you're spinning. And you don't even realize that this is why. This is one reason. This is one reason why a lot of a lot of these places now are like, no, 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 no cash. We don't need cash, you know, because. It is easier to, for you to blow money when you just when you when when you when they have when they have your debit card. And they're like, "Come on, man, come play some of these bets. Come on, Daddy O, play some of these bets." And you place bets. And you're like, "Ah, let me place another one. Let me place another one. Let me place another one." And then you're up, you know, you're up, uh, you're up, you're up a couple hundred bucks. And then next thing you know, you're losing thousand, two thousand. Then you're chasing a dog. You're chasing the high. You're, you're a dog chasing your tail. Man, I gotta get back. I was up three hundred. Ooh, <laughs> hey, listen, cut that off, cut that short, and cut it out. Okay, you do not want to be you do not want to be one of these people who end up on the side of a of a billboard saying, "I had a gambling problem." Call one eight hundred gambling addiction, one eight hundred addiction, one eight hundred addict, whatever. You know, you want to you want to avoid this type of nonsense and it's all around us you know every day more and more i just got on the computer to uh um, record this podcast i had the big old billboard uh, march madness is here you know play some bets listen i'm gonna i'm gonna say i said it once and i'm gonna say it again and then we're gonna wrap this show up the reason why you are not listen you are not a gambling shark. I'm talking to you. You are not a gambling expert, my friend. I used to see, I saw I saw every now and then a couple, you would see a couple of these like kids. They'd be like, hey, hit me up, man. I I I I, I placed a bet and I won $200,000 and you can get my picks. You, you know, they're not winning nothing, right? The money, they, the money they make is the money that you give them for the picks that they going to get wrong all the time, you know? Um, so, hello, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, McFly, wake up, okay? The, the, the only gambling you need to be doing is on yourself, okay? Uh, listen, the lottery is entertainment. Gambling, uh, sports gambling is entertainment. If you are to the point in your life where you are or or needing to win $5,000 and you sitting there waiting on the lottery to um to spring spring a leak and to give you money or you were waiting on the uh the Baylor Bears to win the NCAA tournament it ain't happening captain give it up let it go um you know save up some cash you know buy some equipment you know to start you start yourself a YouTube channel or something like that the idea the notion that you are going to win you, the, I, the notion that you are going to hit on a 14 parlay and you spent $10 on it and now you, you want $1.2 million, that dog ain't going to hunt with you, pal, okay? It might have worked for somebody else once, but it's they, – and, and, they, and they leak these stories all the time. You know why? Because you are a fish, okay? You are a mark. 
and they throw the they throw the the line out there and they go, hey, hey man, this guy won two hundred thousand dollars on a on a seventeen parlay. You can do the same. I hate to be Debbie Downer today, but it ain't gonna happen for you, okay? And um, don't blow you. Two things you should never blow uh, your, your, all your money on: gambling and women. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> you remember that? If you remember that, you'll be okay in life, right? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen. I know this show today was not uplifting. It was not. It was not. It was not positive. But we can always be positive. Sometimes you have to. You have to hit home with reality. And it hit me yesterday when I was watching. I said, "It's gonna be some joker this week. Some joker. He's gonna be looking around and looking at points and this, that, and the other. And hoo, hoo, hoo. if if they if they can hit this jump shot." I can, I can, I can hit the spread and blah, 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 blah. It ain't you, man. It ain't going to be you. Okay. Bet on yourself. Don't bet on these sports. A lot of these sports are looking more and more shady, everybody. So if I was you, well, first off, if I was you, I'd stop watching. I know I have, uh, but I ain't your daddy. I ain't here to tell you what to do, but I'm here to give you some wisdom, sage wisdom. Okay. Every now and then. You need it. So don't bet your entire life savings that your grandpa done left you on a NCAA team that ain't never even seen the Final Four, sniffed the Final Four, okay? Um, let, me give you, let, me give you, let me give you two rules for you people who ain't going to listen, okay? And it's just, it's just tips. Um. Pick a team that's that's won before. That's normally that's normally the safe route to, to go. Pick a team who's always in the final four. Pick a team that's that is that goes deep in the playoffs quite often. Never uh never go with these uh you know it's very rare where, where a team like the Rich and Inspired is go all, go goes all the way to the final four. Okay, so but that <laughs> I'm just kidding around about those last couple parts, but. I will say this. I will emphasize this again before we go. Do not waste your time. Do not waste your money. Gamble on yourself. Do not spend a lot of time into these sports. The more the more time you spend trying to figure out your business, trying to figure out what you can do, the more you figure out how you can make some money, the less time you figure out who's an influencer, you know, who who's making how much money in sports, who's making how much money in entertainment. Um, the more you uh, leave that pop culture nonsense alone and the more you focus on you and focus on the things that you need to do the better off you will be ladies and gentlemen that is it um go out avoid the final four avoid the gambling nonsense avoid the um you know avoid the uh the shenanigans the hustle you know it's the reason why like i said before vegas they have big tall buildings for a reason because uh, many of us have went there you spent your 20 bucks, you lost, call it a day, you know. But no, most of you, you go, you lose, you win a couple hundred dollars, then you lose, wind, turn around and lose 2000 Don't let that be you, okay? So that is it. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Zano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace. <laughs>